Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me then hi my name is Natasha and if you are returning then welcome back and thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Natasha, if you're new here I'd love for you to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell below so you get notified when I upload. For today's video it's just a short little chatty video but I wanted to film this video because I feel like now that I've had my very own first time experience I just really want to put my story out there onto a platform where my video can be seen by a lot of young women my sort of age or anyone that's legible for it and it being your smear test. I am at the age where you are meant to be getting your um, very first smear test so yeah I'm 25, I turned 25 in November and to be fair when I first got my letter through the post about me booking my smear test I was like oh no simply because I think it's one of those things isn't it there's a lot of people that are skeptical about getting your smear test done some people just don't like the idea of it some people are scared I think some people hear other people's stories that might have not been great and they just put off of it but honestly I just want to share with you my story I'm just going to go over um so how I happen to like book my smear test what happened when i turned up to the doctor's surgery the kind of like the procedure itself not going too personal but just kind of like you know telling you what kind of what happens without being too too like ugh. I, I don't know how to describe it um but yeah if you want to find out how my experience went um then please keep watching i just really want to share how important it is to get your smear test done i think it was probably a couple of months after my birthday or actually probably three months i think it wasn't straight away so i turned 25 last november and i think yeah i think it was about two months ago i received a letter in the post and it was a letter from the nhs saying that i am now at the age of 25 and I need to book my cervical screening test, also known as the smear test. At this time, I was super, super busy with work. Um, I don't normally have weekdays off of work. I do the odd bit of weekend working as well. Um, so I had to kind of wait till when I had the time off work. So a few weeks had gone past and I got another letter through the post. And I actually forgot about the first one. And that's quite bad because really I should have booked it. I should have stop making excuses even though I was really really busy I mean I work for NHS and we come on we're in a pandemic you know and this was probably at the, the peak of this third lockdown um you know it's hard to take time off you feel guilty for taking time off but um anyway I did actually have a week off last week so I knew I was going to be having this week off um, so I thought it would be really important to, okay, I need to phone the GP surgery and book my smear test. So I phoned up. I knew that on that week I would not be on my period. Now, I don't know if that matters. I'm not sure if you can or cannot be on your period or not. But I didn't personally want to be. So I knew that by the time I was going to have my smear test, I would have been off of my period for a week. So I literally phoned up and I said hi i've got my um letter in the post about booking my smear test have you got any availability for these sort of dates that's when i'm not working i'm finding it really hard to try and come up for it because of work and luckily on one of the days that um i said that i'm free they had an appointment so i booked my appointment didn't really think anything of it and then obviously a couple of days before i thought oh i've got to have my smear test in a couple of days time you know there is that kind of feeling where you're thinking oh I've got to have my smear test um but yeah so the day came when I was going to have my smear test so I went into my GP surgery obviously got myself checked in went into the waiting area which was lovely and empty I mean Covid has been horrible but if it's done one thing it's made the waiting rooms nice and empty in the GP surgeries um but yeah no I went in and first of all I had to sit down like as you would go in for a normal GP appointment and the nurse was so lovely and reassuring and kind I 
obviously she knew it was my first one so the first thing that the nurse asked me um which i didn't know she was going to ask me this it's lucky that i track my period so i could give her the answer so i would recommend tracking your last period because she asked me when was the first day of my last period well when i started bleeding now, that might be a bit tmi but i knew the date so i was able to tell her that she also asked me how my periods are in general so i gave her a bit of a debrief on that and then she also asked me if i was on any contraception at all and i told her about that as well so just a few kind of like background questions um and then she obviously she just reassured me that it's fine it doesn't take too long it doesn't hurt and then that was the bit when i had to you know whew, whip my bottom bits off if you like so it was very um respectful um so she put the curtain round and then i had to take off all of my bottom bits um i initially thought that i could just literally pull my trousers and my knickers down but no you had to take your shoes off and everything just had to come off basically um so i'm actually going to talk about the next bits of like actually going into it not too much i try not go into it too like in too much detail but what you do is she explains to you what she's going to do which is great because i always feel it's very important to let the patient know what you're going to be like doing like what the process is so this actually reminded me of when i do my workouts because it's actually an exercise move that i do for my abdominals um so you had to lay it on the bed and you had to put your feet like the soles of your feet together and then let your legs drop out to the sides and I was just literally there thinking, oh my god, this is literally what I do when I do a frog crunch. <laughs> um, I didn't say that to her though, I thought she's going to think I'm such a weirdo. Anyway, so yeah, that happened and then obviously she got the, the tall thing, I can't really describe what it was. Um, and I was thinking, oh my god, what, what, is, what is that? like? But it's absolutely fine, honestly. I think the worst thing about having your smear test done is the initial build up to it happening and the first stages of it now when it was being done um it only it hurt just a tiny little bit it wasn't an unbearable pain it just i think it's because i was kind of like a little i'm a bit of an anxious person anyway i don't like conflict i don't like anything that makes me feel anxious i hate um having any conflict with anyone or hate having anything that's going to inflict pain or something that's out of my comfort zone i absolutely hate it and this was obviously definitely out of my comfort zone so i think my body's natural kind of like protection source was just to make me seize up a bit so she just told me to relax and that is literally when i said to myself it's mind over matter it really is mind over matter this could save your life and it's not going to take long just breathe essentially so when the um appliance shall we call it goes in it does feel a little bit odd and they do kind of like i really don't know how to describe it they kind of like just pump it a little bit just obviously because they've got to get into your cervix and obviously do the smear and that actual part of it didn't hurt it didn't hurt at all it just feels a bit odd it just feels a little bit strange honestly i think as i said before it was literally just because i was a bit worried and i didn't know what to expect i mean going back a few years back i did have a little bit of a scare and i had to have a biopsy and it was a little bit similar to a smear test um but that was okay so i thought well, maybe it might be like that but honestly my smear test it didn't really hurt at all it just a little bit at the start I had a little bit of pain but that's because i think i was just so worried that i was probably just building up the worry in my head um she was very reassuring very like the way she spoke to me was just so calming and that is how i describe it okay so if you're going to have your smear test please just have it done it doesn't really hurt it just feels strange it's a strange sensation and as, li as soon as that strange feeling you get that strange feeling she goes all done and that was it and it was finished that was it so that was the procedure itself so what happened next is she um goes out of the curtain she says feel free to get yourself ready um so that's what happened i just got put my, my knickers and my trousers and my shoes back on and then she just tells you what kind of happens um that's another thing actually she asks she asks if you've had the cervical 
um i can't remember what it what it's called now i don't know if it's like hpn jab or something like that it's basically the cervical screening and when it first came out i was one of the first people to get it done because i think i was at that age of who they wanted to like the to jab and um, so i have had that done um but she did say to me that it would take probably two to three weeks to get my results back now i don't know if that's the same for everyone but where i live they don't test it at the hospital um, where I live and I know that for a fact because I work in a laboratory setting and they get sent away to another hospital to get tested so that's initially what she said to me at first she said if you you need to wait two or three weeks to get your result your result comes back to you in the form of a letter to your home address she also makes sure that you're at the home address that you're registered under um, with the GP surgery just to make sure that the result does get to you so she said if you don't get anything within six weeks then please phone us up so we can like get those results to you so that was it really so you go in you get a few questions asked just about your general you know menstrual kind of health um contraception when your um the start of your last period was and if you've had that cervical cancer jab and then obviously the procedure goes ahead it lasts like it it, pro it probably feels like it lasts a longer time than what it actually does but it probably only lasts about 30 seconds to a minute probably not even that yeah honestly i was so worried um after i had my smear test done i did feel a little bit strange throughout the day that's completely normal you just had a procedure done um and i did get a bit of spotting as well but nothing to worry about and the nurse also reassured me that that was completely normal as well after your smear test and then i just went home and got on with my day i went for a lovely walk i didn't do any kind of like vigorous exercise i just literally went for a walk and that was that i had my smear test done it was out of the way i also asked the question that um because i didn't know how regular you have them done so she said women under 50 have them done every three years and women over 50 have them every five years i wanted to know when i was going to have to have my next one so i'm 25 now so i'm looking about 28 maybe 28 and a half for my next one so it's not like you have to go every single year it must be to do with maybe every three years you could have some potential changes down there so yeah i mean i hope i've covered everything in this video if you have any questions for me please leave them down below in the comments box and i will get back to you um but yeah um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope uh it you found it helpful um and i just want to stress how important it is to have your smear test done because it can save your life essentially it really can it can just prevent you from becoming really sick like if your cells were abnormal um you know it could just say it can save your life and please do not be worried about it i think i'd rather experience the about a minute or so of uncomfortableness and the fact that someone that I don't know is like looking at my nanny and whatever, like writing my nanny, <laughs> then become quite poorly with something that can turn terminal and just really affect your life all for the sake of a minute. So I just want to stress how important it is to get it done. I really wanted to come onto my channel today with this um, bonus video because I really wanted to share my experience, tell you what I did and what the stages were. So if you are thinking oh actually i really do need to have my smear test and you're putting it off please don't put it off just honestly go and get it done so yeah as i said before i really hope you found this video helpful if i can just get one person and encourage one person to go and have their smear test i would be so happy honestly just go and have it done i know i keep saying it just go and get it done because it's just so important you know um but yeah i hope whatever you're doing i hope you're having a lovely day or a lovely evening and i'll see you all again soon on sunday for a brand new video bye everyone